Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an update error with Windows that says the update is not applicable to your computer. So you just want to make sure that you're using the correct version of the update that corresponds to your version of Windows. So one thing you do in order to do that, or figure that out, would be to open up the start menu, just click on the start button one time, type in system, not the best match, but one of the better matches underneath settings should say system here. You want to left click on that. Underneath system should say your processor type as well as if you're running a 32 or 64 bit computer, so operating system as well as processor. Most people it should be in sync, so it's a 64 bit processor, it should be a 64 bit operating system. There might be some mix, there's a chance that there could be some mixage here. There's a chance that they could be different, but for most of you, it should either all be 32 or all 64. Whatever the operating system is, in my case, is the one you want to go with. So I would just go with 32-bit version. So that's where a lot of confusion can come in if you're trying to download a 64-bit update for a 32-bit computer, or potentially vice versa. Another thing we can try here would be to close out of this, open up the star menu, type in troubleshoot. What best matches should say troubleshoot. Left click on that one time. And then you want to left click on the get up and running. You want to select Windows Update. And then select run the troubleshooter. This will take a few minutes to run, so you just want to be patient here. So that would take some time. Again, be patient. So rather than just letting this thing run, you just would go ahead, follow along the on-screen prompts, restart your computer. So I'm just going to cancel out of here because it actually will take a few minutes to run. So you would just let it run and then restart your computer. Hopefully then it would have resolved the problem. If you're still having problems, another thing you can try here, and that would be to go ahead, open up the start menu, type in CMD, best match to come back with command prompt. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of the video. I want you guys to just run each one independently and then once the one is finished, you can run the other one. So the first one's going to be a DISM command. So I'm just going to copy it out of the description of my video, copy it to your clipboard, and then go up to the command prompt top bar here, right click on it one time, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. Once it's pasted in here, you want to hit enter on your keyboard. So you might be able to run this successfully. If not, it's not the end of the world. Hopefully that would be able to run on your computer. But if you're still having a problem, the next command we're going to run is an SFC scan now, which I'm also going to have in the description. Just go up to the top bar of the command prompt, right click again, left click edit, and then left click on paste. It's going to run a system integrity scan on your computer. Just want to be patient, you're more likely going to have to restart your computer when you're done with that. So once that's done, restart your computer, see if that has resolved the problem. Again, we're kind of getting a little bit further down the rabbit hole on this one, but hopefully that the first method I went through about checking if you're doing the proper 32 or 64 bit download, that should probably be able to fix most of the problems for you guys. So if you're still experiencing an issue, we can try one more thing I'm going to do in this video. And that would be to open up the start menu, type in region. Best match to come back are region and language settings. I'm going to left click on that. On the left side, left click on region and language again. Underneath country or region, you want to select the correct country or region in this drop down menu, as well as the language. Very important here. So if it's an incorrect language, you want to change it. So pretty straightforward on that part as well. So once you're done with that, close out of here. We are just restarting your computer as well. Hopefully that's resolved the problem. One further thing I could think of would be to try and run a system restore after doing all of what I showed. But that should really not be necessary. But you could try it. There really shouldn't be too much harm in trying that. It's a pretty safe feature as Windows has had it for a very long time. Pretty good results in my experience using it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.